I'm quite happy with the weather in the city because I think I'm used to it because I've always lived here and I get quite irritable when it's too hot. So I enjoy the dismal gloom, cloudy weather. Uh, smog is always a sign of air pollution, right? When you see fog and mist, in winter particularly, it's actually caused by pollution because the pollution particles make the likelihood of forming fog bigger. So you're kind of seeing the pollution, if you like. Air pollution in general is a problem all the year, although the winter to summer variation is now much less than it used to be in the days of the Great Smog when it was very clearly a winter issue. In winter, yes, we get what are called inversion conditions where as you go higher above the ground level, the air cools. And in these inversion conditions, you get a layer of warmer air above a layer of cold air at the ground. And what that means is there's a kind of barrier and pollutants can't get through that barrier. And so they're trapped underneath this. And those are the conditions that led to the classic smogs in 1952, 1962, 1991. 2000 onwards, we've seen fewer of these events, but we had a very serious wintertime pollution event in December 2007, where concentrations reached the similar levels, really, to what they had been 10 years ago. And it makes us wonder how much we've actually progressed in controlling wintertime episodes. We tend to burn more fuel in winter to heat homes and so on, so emissions overall tend to be higher, and you can get very high levels of particle pollution and other pollutants during relatively still days or when the wind is not blowing strongly. By 1991, London was virtually completely smoke controlled, so there was virtually no coal burnt at all. But the main source of the pollution at that time would have been motor vehicles in terms of particles and mostly NOx, although the building heating systems would also have made a, a fairly substantial contribution to the NOx concentrations. Pollution levels overall have come down dramatically from what they once were. It depends largely on weather, the wind speed and other things, how much pollutant is built up. But if you look across a long distance, you can see that the atmosphere is not clean. People can check the levels on the website, classified as low, moderate, high and very high, with the relevant health advice, actually, if people want to take evasive action.